600 million. That's the number of people who have been infected by COVID-19. In practically every patch of the planet, 600 million. For the sake of perspective, that's more than the population of Mexico, Japan, and Egypt combined. Yet, there are some people who have managed to evade the virus. Three years, and they still haven't been infected. Why? What makes them special? Is it pure luck, super immunity, or something else altogether? It's a mystery that has baffled scientists. In the next seven minutes, we'll try to demystify it. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Priyanka Sharma and this is the story of the Super Dodgers. You know the people who have dodged COVID-19 for the last two and a half years. So how many of them are there? It's impossible to estimate, but I'm sure we all have friends or relatives who somehow were never infected. Research on the matter is however limited. Figures are available only from select countries. Like the United Kingdom. According to the UK's Health Security Agency, around 15% of people in England have never had COVID, 1-5. In September 2020, a study was published in the United States. It said that 40 to 45% of those infected with COVID will remain asymptomatic. That's not all. In December 2021, a follow-up analysis of 95 studies revealed that 40% of COVID infections didn't come with symptoms. In other words, some people never caught the virus. Some people did, but they never developed any symptoms. No cough, no loss of taste, no scratchy throat, not even a sniffle. The question is why? The answers are several. To start with, researchers say this could be plain dumb luck, that the people who didn't get infected were just lucky. But emerging research shows that genetics too may play a role as do time and space. And as bizarre as it may sound, even the way in which the wind is blowing could be a reason why people don't get infected. I'm not saying this, scientists are. According to the Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine, there are so many variables why people don't get infected that it's impossible to name one as a plausible cause. You can be in the same room as somebody with an infection and still not catch the virus. That said, Researchers and scientists agree on certain things that could explain why some people don't get infected. What are they? One, a person's genetic makeup. Two, past exposure to less lethal coronaviruses. And three, certain kinds of past allergies. Four, certain drugs that they take for other conditions. Genetic mutation is being seen as the most plausible explanation. According to one research, a person's genetic makeup could explain why they don't get infected. It says that some people may have some sort of natural immunity to the virus, a specific mutation in their genes which makes them resistant, if not completely immune. So how does this work? You see, some people may possess singular variations in their genes, which may hinder their ability to produce the molecules, which a virus like COVID-19 needs to infect their body. Scientists say that these people have a mutation on the gene that covers the ACE2 receptor, the angiotensin covering enzyme 2. It's a spike-like protein on the surface of cells that provides an entry point for the virus to hook onto, so that it can infect a wide range of human cells. Using the spike protein, COVID binds itself to cells, like a key being inserted into a lock. But like I said, not everyone has the same number of these receptors. Some may even have a genetic mutation that covers them up. And due to this condition, the virus may be sliding off their cells, like water sliding off a glass window. And by the way, this doesn't apply to COVID-19 only. In 1995, researchers in France tried to figure out why some people were never infected with a certain species of malaria, known as the Plasmodium vivax. They concluded that it was due to a mutation in their genes. In 2003, a team in London tried finding out why some people never get a stomach bug, known as a norovirus. They concluded that once again it was due to a mutation in their genes, which prevents them from making molecules that the virus needs to infect cells. And the same story with HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. By far the most famous virus super dodgers are people protected against HIV. In 1996, researchers found out why exactly. 
why HIV didn't enter certain cells? It was because it needed a certain molecule, a specific molecule on the surface of the cell to open the door and let the virus enter. Without this molecule, the virus only sticks to the cell's surface and doesn't infect the human body. It's like the virus knocks on the door, but the door's locked and nobody's there to open it. Even movies have been made on this subject, like World War Z, a Hollywood blockbuster. In the film, a zombie virus only pairs itself to strong hosts. If one is sickly or weak or otherwise uninhabitable for this virus, it wouldn't pair itself to them. The movie's protagonist ultimately uses this discovery, that is, people immune to the virus, to come up with a cure. As bizarre as it may sound, but that's exactly what scientists are doing now. They're looking for super dodgers, for research, for studies to find out what makes them so special. They say studying such people will help them develop better vaccines, better treatments, better prevention strategies, and a better understanding of how this virus works in the body. Now here's the thing. COVID-19's ability to hopscotch the population has indeed been an enduring mystery. It has killed some people, mildly sickened others, and left some untouched. This can't just be a matter of fate. There has to be a scientific explanation. Super dodgers could be the key to understanding it. So if you're somebody who's evaded the virus up until now, we suggest you speak up. The world needs your help.